In this video, we will see the demonstration of a stable multivibrator using triple five timer. So when the circuit is initially made, the capacitor starts charging through R1 and R2. And once the voltage across the capacitor reaches two third of VCC, then it start discharging through resistance R2 and the discharge pin number seven. And the output voltage at the pin number three, it changes from high to low automatically. And that is why this is called as a a stable multivibrator. And the on time and off time depends upon the external components R1, R2 and C. And this is how the on time and off time depends mathematically. So we can control the on time and off time by changing the values of R1, R2 and C. And the voltage across the capacitor also changes like this. Over here for this particular circuit, the on time will always be greater than the off time. That is why such circuit will always give us the duty cycle which will be greater than 50%. In order to get other duty cycle, if we want to have a duty cycle equal to 50% or less than 50%, then we have to modify this circuit by adding a diode. And we'll see the demonstration of that circuit in our later video. So let us focus on this A stable multivibrator and see the demonstration of this. So this is the circuit diagram which we have designed using Tinkercad and let us start the simulation. This scope gives us the output waveform and the lower oscilloscope. It displays the voltage across the capacitor. We are getting exactly the same waveform which we had expected theoretically. Now if we want to measure the on and off time for that, if we click on this scope, we see that the time per division is 2 millisecond. So we can count the number of divisions for the on time. It is 3 divisions. So 3 into 2 will give us 6 milliseconds as the on time. And the off time will be 4 milliseconds. And we can change this on time and off time by changing these resistances or this particular capacitor. So this is how the A-stable multivibrator using triple five timer works.